so this video is going to be very interesting to all of you because you are going to learn how to make a number guessing game in html css and javascript hey my name is Sikraj. you are watching big Coder. and to see more videos like this please hit that like and subscribe button and let's start after this small intro So first create the folder I will write the name here number case game and this is the image I will use so just move that image in your folder I have provided my github link in the description of this video so you can go there and so you can go there and download the source code of this game and it will include that image also now open your text editor and open that folder now our folder is here and you can see the image is already present here we have to make the file index.html and style.css and another file because we are, have to use javascript also so one file of javascript and our all file are ready so first we are going to design our game ui all css we will write first and then at last we will write the javascript this video will be very interesting for all of you so first i will make here container i have made written here a div and given here a name container and id name also container and inside that i will write a section and this section is having the class name of box so inside that i will use another div and this div will be image which contain an image tag and the image image is ready and let me show you in the website this was our game and now it is something like this in another div we will write class text and s3 and here we will write this line we will style them one by one and after that s3 we have an input here after this s3 we, we will make here an input box so for that i am writing a section and i will give here a class name input box and inside that i will write an input we don't need this name and in id i will give number so this is our input box and after that we have a button so after that we have a section i will make another section and give it a class name and button box and inside that button box there is a button we will write here check let's see so this is how it's looking now i will link my css so now let's style our this container and all these stuff we have written inside it so for that first of all remove that margin unwanted margin here and let's style the body first so first of all i will write height will be 100 view height display flex align item center justify content center to make everything in the center of the screen so as you can see and we will change the background color and i am using linear gradient and 45 degree color will be 14 ebb7 and has 39a3 ff is completed 
so the next one is the container so we have styled our body now we will style our container here so let's dive into container i will give here with 600 pixel and height of 300 pixels background color i am using the same sky blue color this one border radius 15 pixel box shadow 5 pixel 5 pixel 10 pixel gray color so after box shadow we will write here a display flex line item center because inside the container there is a another class box so to make that box in center from horizontal and vertical we will write this line item center and justify content center let's see so fine now we will style the box so for that we have to write here display flex again align item center justify content center and let's use here a space between width will be 600 pixel and height should be 90 percent now what we have to do i will increase the size of this image a little bit more big so inside this box i will there is a class image here in this class so i will provide it this one width of 40 percent height will be inherit i will write display flex align item center and justify content center and now after this container we will give the width we will define the width of the image the real image tag so width will be like 100 percent so look the image size is increased here now it's time for the text the width will be because box is containing two containers one is image and another is text so the image so the image one is image class is taking the width of 40 percent then another one will definitely get maximum 60 percent minimum you can give anything uh, 40 30 20 but maximum it will only take 60 percent so here i have given the width height will be also inherit this is basically how it is looking now i will use a google font here so for that if you don't know i will provide a i button link i will make a detailed video there just click on google font and choose any font which you like copy the link and paste in your html tag insert the head and there is a another here font family copy that paste into the asterisk font has changed let's style the s3 for s3 we will use color white font size 30 pixel text line center margin 0 percent margin bottom of 20 pixel so s3 is done after the s3 we have to style this input box so here we have to only write display flag justify content center and so after that i will write input and style little bit of input flag width of 40 pixel height of 40 pixels border none let's see so this is basically how it is looking we have to remove this blue line so for that i will write outline zero so you can see it is removed border radius 5 pixel font size 30 pixel background color anything you can use here i am using this one text align center till here we have completed everything it's time to style this check button so let's see what we have to do in check button so there is a class you can see 
button box just copy that button box and inside that i will write display flex justify content center and i will write margin top of 20 pixel so here you can see it is now in center now styling the button so i will give a width of 200 pixels border of 0 inch height of 30 pixel border radius pixel and let's see background i think this is a yellow color background so background is yellow letter spacing i will use 2 pixel font size 18 pixel text transformation to uppercase cursor pointer and lastly i will use transition when we will hover it and it will change color then it will be smooth so this is how our ui is looking now on button hover background is changing color of red let's see now what we are going to do is i am going inside the container and for some time i am writing here display none so it is removed and now i will write here uh, another div after this whole container i will write here another div and inside this div when we guess a number and it is right then this div will be so with a message that congratulations you won the game and inside that we have only a s3 this s3 is like containing a congratulation message this is basically you won and tile color red when we will when we won the game means when we guess the right number then this message will be shown as here when like i guess this then this is telling me oops try again that we lost it and let me style this first only we have to define this container and a losing container also and then we will jump into our javascript so i will give a width of 600 pixels max content background color we have this border radius 10 pixels copy the box shadow and win container s3 and so margin 0 i will use padding from every side so this done i will write here display none again so this is also completed after that copy this winning one and right here loose container inside this instead of this yellow i am going to use i mean instead of that red i am using orange try again and just similarly you don't have to do anything just copy this and to show it i will remove this we have to change this background color for that i am using red one so this is how it is looking and what it will be displayed now i am using here id also in both like container because when we will call in this javascript and it will be easy for us to call it with id name our ui is ready and now i will remove this display none in container main container let's dive into the main part of the program and that is the javascript first of all like css you also have to link the javascript file so for that you have to use a script tag and write the source of the file so in this part you have to give more focus so in here what we will do that in the html here we have written a button so in this button what we will be going to do when we will click this button then a function will be executed and that function will be i will write its name like check for that we have to write on click function we have to use it and write the name of function i am using check function we will define it in the javascript now so when we will click this check button then the function name check will be executed so let's save it 
and define that check function our function is defined when this function will be clicked then the number written in this input field will be stored in a variable so for that i will make a variable and write its name my number and from where it is coming so it is coming from the input box so and we have provided that input box uh, id document dot get element by id is the number and dot variable value so let's see it is catching that number from the input or not so now what we are doing i am showing that variable in the console section so if i write 3 and click on check so you can see 3 is printed here now when i remove this 3 and write 4 and click on check then second time 4 is printed and if i write 7 then 7 is printed so you can see how uh, so you can see how to take a number from input box and store in a variable in javascript so our first work is done now this value is not in a number it is in a text form so what we have to do we should make another variable and i will name it int num and equals to i will write here parse int and pass that my number percent is done now i will use another console here i will write int num if we have captured our number which we are guessing so this was the number which we will guess and that we have stored in the javascript and the logic of this game is to store that number which we are guessing in a variable and the computer will generate a random number between 1 to 10 and it will match the both variable that if this will match then the winning container of the h3 which we have defined in now in css and their html code that will be shown and if we lose then the lose container will be shown so for that we will make an another variable that is random number equals to map dot floor and math dot random so here understand this line this math dot random is a function which generate a number between 0 to 1 in decimal so this function generate a number between 0 to 1 in decimal form and we will convert it into an integer so for that we will multiply this with 10 so this we will multiply this point number with 10 suppose i am writing here in comment that if it generates 0 0.222 then what we are doing we will multiply it with 10 so now it will become 2.22 so this will be the number and this math dot floor function this is doing what it is taking the floor value of that digit means this 2 and it will remove the this uh, part which is after the decimal so we will get this 2 here so this line is doing something the same you are seeing i will write plus 1 so this is the lo logic behind what is going so this is how it is working console dot log and i will print that random number and let's see the inside the console section so when i will let's say i write here one and click the check button so here you see the first value is one and the second value is six A computer has generated the value six so this in this one i lost the game let's try another time say if right if i write three and click on check then it, my number was three and the computer number was two this is how the game is going to work so after that we have captured the input number 
I mean uh, the number which we are guessing in the input box and we have generated we have also generated a random number in which we are going to match it so simply first I will write here if my num I mean not my num int num is equal equals to a random number then console a message that one when we will guess the correct one correct uh, generated number then we will get a message that we want and else we will get a message loser all right here winner so let's see when i write here suppose 3 and click on check so see here in the console section we have written 3 and the computer is also generated a number 3 then we got a message winner let's try one more on one more time when i write here 6 and click on the check button so here see i have written 6 i have chosen a 6 number and the computer has generated number 7 so we get the message loser so this is how the game is going to work and you can see we have almost done we have only to do we have to remove this instead of writing this console we are going to change that we are going to change the this section into that message like this will be shown here so for that we have nothing to do i will write here doc dot get element by id and if you remember i have written a winning container style dot display will be block again i will copy this and paste in same here and this will be displayed none so what i have done here i have taken that id of this winning container and change this style is displayed style into block because it is already in displayed none sec, uh, none so i have changed it into display block and the main container which is already it is visible i have changed its visibility into none win the game then this main container will be disappeared and this winning container will be come up into the screen and see in similarly when we lose the game then the same the main container is disappeared and the losing container with the h3 we have written here that oops try later uh, try again it will be displayed copy this two and paste here and instead of this win i have to use the lose container so now let's try our game so when i write three so here you can see we got the message oops try again so refresh i will try one other time so here you can see it is working properly when i write five i get a congratulations message and this is how you can make an interesting number guessing game and play and i have provided i as i have told you that i have provided the link of my github in the description of this video you can go there and download the source code source code of this video uh, not the source code of this video i mean the source code of this game so if you enjoyed this video then please hit that like and subscribe button and please share this video to your friends who want to learn web development and interested in coding and see you in next video